What it do, what it do, what the business is. This your brother Jay International tapping back in once again. And today, man, I got a, a subject to talk about. I got a subject that I want to talk about. But first, I want to make sure that y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Get the word out. I'm in my a single empty room in the apartment doing my vlog. But hey, we're going to make it do what it do, baby. You understand me? So today, as I said, I got a serious thing I want to talk about. And I even had to take notes on it because I felt that it was necessary. I felt that I needed to, to, to write this down because it's, a, it's, a, such, it's such a serious uh, subject. So without any further ado, what I want to talk about is how do white people get so wealthy? Or also, how did white become so wealthy? And this is my, this is based on my theory, my own personal experience. Sorry about that. That's my ring app. But uh, this is based on my own personal experience. This is based on my own research, my personal research over the years. I've read many books, many, many books over the years. I've read books on history politics economics right now i'm looking at my library just looking at some of the books that i i have that i haven't even gotten to this is only a portion you know this is only a portion of the books that i have but yeah over the years i've consumed a lot of books man let me see what this one is right here let me show y'all one the sins of our fathers, you see? So, I got a lot of books, man. This is a, a classic right here by Neely Fuller. This is the first one. The United Independent Conservatory Code System Concept, a textbook, workbook for thought, speech, and, and our action for victims of racism, white supremacy. This is deep right here, man. Deep. But yeah, man, just to, uh, let me see what this is. Black Labor, White Wealth, by, by the brother, the, the elder, Dr. Claude Anderson. So, you know, I got a lot of works that uh, contribute to my views, and this is my theory, but I got a lot of works that I've read, personal experience, that contribute to why, you know, how I think and my theory. So as I said, this is my theory on how I feel they got rich. And to start it off, to get straight, to short and straight to the point, just to get straight to it, they took that shit. That is how they got wealthy. They took that shit. They didn't ask for it. They didn't say please. They didn't offer compensation for it. They took it. You know what I'm saying? That's why if you listen, you know, to uh, Brother Neely Fuller Jr., when he talks about gangsters and gangsterism and who's the, the biggest gangsters, it's the white supremacists. They are the biggest gangsters. You know, we, you know, brothers in the hood, we, we, you know, compared to them, we little gangsters. They the big gangsters. You know, they took, they took whole countries. They took whole, you know, they took a whole race of people. You know, they destroyed whole countries. You know what I'm saying? They took minerals and all the natural resources from countries. They, they colonized countries. They are the biggest gangsters. We we you know we we small fries compared to them, man. They 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 the big dogs. You know what I'm saying? So that is how 
they got their wealth. They took that shit, right? Lock, stock, and barrel. And once they got a hold of it, they kept that they kept control of that shit. And then after so many years of them having control of it and, and getting ahead in the race, which is what uh, Dr. Uh, Claude Anderson, he, he, when he describes what race really is, it's, it, it's a race, a race for wealth based on color. But it was a race. That's how it started off, a race for the resources of this world, of this, of the, of, of this country that we're in. And once they got ahead in the race, it's over. You know what I'm saying? It's like picture me or you trying to race uh, Usain Bolt in his prime. And let's say we doing a, a let's do a 400 meter. And let's say he starts off the race. He gets to the last 200 meters of the race. Then they say, okay, now, now they say, okay, you go. Now they start your time. Now you try to keep, keep up. Now you try to catch up with him. You try to catch up to the fastest man in the world at the time. And you're not going to be able to do it. No matter how much time. No, If they extended the race for another 400 meters, another 400 meters, no, no matter how many meters they extend the race, you are not going to catch up. And this is what happened in terms of white people and us. So when they tell us, oh, pull yourself up by your bootstrap, nigga. Pull yourself up by the bootstrap. <laughs> they're being, they're being, they're being funny, you know, because they know, they're, they know they be, they're patronizing you because they know you are not going to be able to pull yourself up by the bootstrap and catch up to them as a group because they already too far ahead in the race like you would like if you was racing you uh you uh, uh you boat you know they're already too far ahead in the race so there's no way that you can catch up to them unless the government gives us our just due our 40 acres and a mule which we are, are uh, redefining as reparations, or we take that shit. That's the only way. But that's how they got wealthy, and that's how they are continuously wealthy, in addition to having a whole government that they control and that backs them and supports them. But they got a hold of that way, the, the wealth. They took the shit. They, they took all the wealth and the, and the land with the land grants and everything and all the wealth of, of, of the U.S. and the world. And they just kept that shit and passed it on from generation to generation to generation. And denied access to it through the government and through the military and the police force. And that's how they protect their shit. And that's how they keep their shit. Right. And that's why unless something dra drastically happens, they're going to continue to have that shit. You know, I don't care how many how much many hours you put into your nine to five dead end job, how much, you, you know, you put into whatever hustle you got on got going on. No, no matter no amount of time, you can work three or four jobs. You're still not going to catch up. You know what I'm saying? So the only way that shit can change is if the government makes a change with giving us our due reparations or we take that shit by force so this is just my theory but this is how they got wealthy so with that being said this your brother jay international tapping back in once again i think the video just cut off but hey you know we're gonna make it do what it do and uh, I'll let you let it peace.